Okay, y'all, the Preaching RV is in Chattanooga. I've been riding around for an hour now in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic, waiting on Chuck to get back to, to, to his place where I'm going to be temporarily staying. Uh, but uh, let, letting the RV uh, earn its keep. With the preaching, with the God's holy word on, the, on all over it, on the sides and back, and uh, it's a lot easier to to, to, to uh, let the RV preach than than me do it. Uh, you know, with my own mouth, uh, it, and uh, don't have to listen to any back talk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, anyway, I hope you're obeying the Lord. Walking the straight and narrow path. The word says, set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. That's a true follower of God, ladies and gentlemen. A spiritually minded person. Okay? They don't, they own, you know, the word says, he that is born of God does not commit sin because he guards himself from the wicked one and the wicked one touches him not. That's what a true born again Christian does. They, 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 they know the word. And they, they love God, and as Paul says, uh, strive for perfection. Jesus said, Be ye therefore perfect as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. A true born again Christian, ladies and gentlemen, strives to be perfect. Okay, that's just that simple. And God's word says, Without holiness, no one shall see the Lord. So uh, I don't know about you, but I look forward to seeing God, and I'm determined. Uh, as Jesus said, strive to enter into the narrow and straight gate. I got the gift of salvation, but I got to endure to the end. Philippians 2.12 says, let everyone work out their own salvation with fear and trembling. That word fear there means to be frightened and alarmed. Think about it. And the word trembling comes after it. Uh, so many people, and uh, James, the brother of Jesus, said to be a friend of the world is to be an enemy of God. He starts out saying, you adulterers and adulteresses. Meaning, if we are a friend of the world, ladies and gentlemen, that means we love the things of the world, whether it's whining and dining or going to see all of the... Uh, going to the beach, going to the mountains, going to see this, going to see that, going to this music festival, going to that apple festival, or that peach festival, or that pumpkin festival, etc., etc., uh, and, and so many people, they don't study the Word of God. Did you know the Bible says, study the Word to show yourself approved unto God, a workman that needs not to be ashamed? And listen to this part. Rightly dividing the Word of truth. Rightly. As I shared with the young man at the bank today, uh, after I was closed on the property and deposited the money in the, in, in the bank uh, in Hayesville, North Carolina, uh, he, he said he was a Baptist, and I shared a bunch of scriptures with him, and he was shocked. Really, he, he was he didn't even know those scriptures in the Bible, okay? But yet he said he was a Christian. It's typical, okay? I was deceived like that, as I told him, growing up in a church that says it's only by faith, and uh, the Bible says that the opposite of that it says faith working alone is dead. Jesus said, I'm the vine, you the branch. Any branch in me that bears not forth fruit. Okay, notice he said, any branch in me. They're in Christ. Okay, he will cast an unprofitable servant in the outer darkness. Who were they serving? They were serving Jesus. Okay, uh, but cast him in the outer darkness with his weeping and gnashing of teeth. You know, so many people that claim to be Christians, they're ashamed to, sh to, 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 to tell people to repent or. If they see somebody divorcing their husband, cause uh, cause cause they uh, don't like their husband standing up for holiness and warning their sons uh, to repent, or you could go to hell, son. Okay, uh, stop fornicating, stop shacking up, uh, you know, stop being a friend of the world, stop smoking marijuana. God's word says, be soberly minded, put on the mind of Christ. Let the same mind be in you that was in Jesus. The Word says, a drunkard shall not inherit the kingdom of God. A, a liar, a thief, a fornicator, an adulterer. Okay? The Word says, for this is the love of God, that we keep His commandments. And His commandments are not burdensome. 
Titus 2.12 says we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. Okay? Uh, the Word says, Paul talked all about it. Okay? Uh, we will suffer. Okay? We will suffer in this life for standing up and walking the straight and narrow. We will suffer reproach and persecution. Uh, but, but, but Jesus said they hated me before they hated you. Okay? That's why so many people, they don't want to stand up for holiness and righteousness. Okay? They don't want to do it because they don't want to be looked, frowned. They want to be light. Well, we all want to be light, ladies and gentlemen, but if we want to enter the narrow and straight gate, we're going to have to obey God. We're going to have to bear fruit. Okay? Read John chapter 15 about fruit. Uh, the parable of the sower where the seed fell on thorny ground and the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches came in and choked the word and they brought forth no fruit suitable for repentance. Going to church ain't going to get it done. In most churches, uh, God's going to hold people accountable for supporting a lot of these harlot churches that don't preach the narrow and straight way and make you sit in church and feel good about uh, flirting with the world and, and, and flirting with sin. Yeah, I'm, tr I'm truly shocked about what's going on in our country, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if you get into the Word and study the Word, the Lord will show you how, how I'm, 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 I'm telling you, He will show you at least 95% of the people that, that claim to be born again. Number one, most of them's never been born again because they would have never accepted Christ if they'd have been told the ways narrow and straight and they had to live holy. Okay? I mean, I was one of those people okay? uh, uh, at one time in my life. But the preacher said, pray this prayer, accept Jesus, confess with your mouth, believe in your heart, and you saved. Well, that's easy enough to do, right? Okay. But if he'd have told me I had to lay all my sin down and live holy, I wouldn't have went up there and prayed with that preacher. I wasn't re willing to do that at that time in my life. Okay. When I got tired of sin, I just decided to read the Word for myself. Because I knew it. Several preachers told me Jesus was in my heart, but I didn't know it. Just like the young man at the bank today, he said, I, don't, I didn't know God came in me when the preacher told me that. I said, well, that's because he didn't. I said, imagine God that created this awesome world when he comes inside of you. You will know it and never forget that moment. Uh, so, uh, so I encourage you all to study the Word. Okay, For the Word of God is quick and powerful. I'm quoting the Scripture to you. Sharper than, it, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Yep. But you got to get into the Word. The preacher ain't going to preach those kind of messages that's going to get you to uh, uh, live holy and tell you the ways now row is straight. You might not put any money in the plate. You might not come back to church. Okay? But but but, but the bottom line is uh, the, the, most churches are harlot churches. What is a harlot church? They flirting with the whore. Who is the whore? Satan's the whore. And, the, uh, and, the, and demons, okay? The, the, all these churches celebrating Easter and Christmas, and they uh, how to you go look at one of my videos where a holiness preacher even, of all preachers, uh, literally hung up the phone and asked him if he celebrated Christmas and put a Christmas tree in his house. And I said, to, I said now you know, Pastor, that, that that's all from paganism. That's, tra that's traditions that came from sun worship that the Catholic Church adopted to try to please the sun worshipers. Mingle with the whore. Mingling with the whore, ladies and gentlemen. In the, in the book of Revelation, Jesus said, come out of her, my people. Okay, you might need to start a home fellowship. Okay, uh, uh, I think his name's Anesaurus or something like that in the Scriptures in the New Testament. Paul mentioned him several times about how, him having church in his home. Okay, that's where we at today, ladies and gentlemen. That's where we at today. Uh, but I love you. I hope you walk in the straight and narrow and bearing fruit for your Savior and living holy. May the Lord bless you.